Hello students, you have already got the introduction of this poem and now I am going to explain this poem, Fire and Ice. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. The poet comes up with the age-old question, how will the world come to the end, whether by fire or by ice? And he is talking about two particular groups. One group favors fire, another group favors ice. And now what he is talking about them? He says, from what I have tasted of desire, means he has experienced desire, human desire, which is actually fire. That means here fire symbolizes human desires and he has experienced that human desire. And that's why he I hold with those who favor fire means he supports those people who believe that the world will be destroyed by fire. Coming to the second stanza, we find another opinion. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. Here the poet is talking about another concept. He says, that what if the world comes to the end twice means if the world is destroyed twice then ice will do that particular task then ice would be responsible for the destruction of this world and he thinks that he know enough of hate here ice symbolizes hatred that means human hatred is actually similar to ice to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Means, ice is equally powerful like fire for the destruction of this world. And that's why he finally agrees that both these natural forces have the ability to lead us to our doomsday. Thank you.